All right. I wonder how terrible it is to play on a console, aka on a controller. I do have a console, but I don't want to buy Hello Neighbor 2 again, so I just took a controller and plugged it in, in my computer. Uh, by the way, I played on a controller before when I did the probably the hardest Hello Neighbor 2 challenge you can do. It's a pretty... It's not really watched video. I recommend you to check it out. It was really difficult and we beat it. Anyway, let's go. You saw Enter over there, but you can believe me that I'm on a controller. You can see the X here. So I kind of know how to control it, but I didn't play on a controller in a while. So I think I will be a bit rusty. The inputs are... I thought that the inputs are kind of weird on the controller, but they're all right, you know. Uh, the basic items action is right button. I call it the right bottom button, but I cannot really show it to you. Yeah, Y is inventory, but you will never use it because you can use those... I don't really know how to call them side buttons to uh, switch between items. I mean, you see it literally here in the tutorial, hide items. Yes, this button, this weird ass button. Uh, crouch is B, yeah. A, jumping, we know it. And running is actually pretty unique, because usually you press the joystick, the left joystick, like you walk. But in here, it's the left top button, I call it. Am I missing a gear? I'm... Wait, what am I missing? Uh, yeah, I, oh, I have it in my inventory. Idiot. I deleted every single mod, and the only mod I have is... Oh yeah, I could have also put in better clouds mod, huh? Uh, the only mod I have is weather mod that is passive and sometimes it will just start raining or a thunderstorm will will approach. The only thing that will be super annoying is aiming with the joystick. Yeah, chasing and this stuff will be difficult because I usually just move my camera very fast. Look away so we don't trigger his uh, warding off state. And go. He can hear you from this distance, by the way. That's something like the NPC smacks distance when they hear you. By the way, I will give you a trick on the bottom floor. Because you can pick up... Ah, this is the rain and storm. Because when you will pick up the first key, Nielsen will change his state and he will be now walking inside the house instead of outside. So you will prepare every single puzzle and do... Oh, did he go inside? Okay, I think I was lying. This has never happened to me before, because you will activate Nielsen's another state every single time you will pick up the first key, you know? But this never happened to me before. Really. This is weird. I wanted to show you the strat, because I use it all the time, but... I guess not today. Yeah, this surprises me, really. And I, I invested a lot of hours into this game. Also, he will change his state every single time you uh, cut the police tapes, the crime tapes. Ah, shit. And I mean those tapes that lead to upstairs. Because then he will be checking upstairs, you know, obviously. It's going quite well. Also, quite quickly, I'd say. I'm still used to the old Hello Neighbor Alphas that I've been playing to make videos and such. So I must get used to the current gameplay. And current lo uh, layout, you know. Not that I don't remember it, but I have to get used to it. Oh my god. Old Hello Neighbor. Uh, Hello, Hello Neighbor pre-release or patch one, but on the controller. Holy shit, that would be cool. By the way, a little surprise, or a little spoil. Uh, there will be I will be making a special video on this Sunday 6th of October I will be making a special video I won't release it right away but we'll be recording it and it's gonna be a bit special 
I'm really looking forward to it. Also, by the time I am recording this video, yesterday, Hello Neighbor will come to the Raven Brooks, aka Hello Neighbor cartoon series. Uh, season 2 got released, or at least first two episodes are uh, in premiere. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that a lot. Okay, that did not work out. I'm a surprise she actually caught me. I would expect to her to get stuck or something. But I forgot I am not playing old Hello Neighbor 2. Oh shit! Her start startled animation did not play. So I did not have any reaction time really. Went upstairs, I believe. Because that's the closest and probably the only place where she can check under the table, which she always does when she loses the player. Let's try flying with the extinguisher. Huh. Weird. I think it's easier on on controller, actually. I feel like it's smoother. Wait, I don't need this. I think that she's upstairs. No, now she's coming upstairs. Take this. And flee. She did not notice us. Good. It's a bit darker due to the storm and rain. Which is cool because the clouds, the fog starts, you know. It's a cool mall. It should be in the live game, to be honest. Changing feather. Feather? Weather. My English seems a bit rusty today. Can you put it in? Thank you very much. The upstairs, abuse it. Uh, yeah. I really hate using joysticks. But what I'd like to maybe try is to s slow walk, you know, just slowly walk with the joystick, you know. Let's try it right, uh, right here and right now. You know, just slowly walk like this and you won't make a single footstep. You see, it won't attract them. I mean, it's kind of useless, because when you crouch, you move faster and still not make a single sound, but I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Small advantage for console players, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he heard it. No, he shouldn't hear it. Hear it. Okay, by the time he's doing that, we can be sneaky, like this. He looks aside, so... We have time to do this. We do not. Way easier than it would be on keyboard, I think. Did he open the door? I didn't hear it through the safe. No, he will come in here, I think, about now. By the way, always unboard this door. After you take the key here. Because neighbor might take the shortcut and you don't really want that. So you can attract him in here as well. So he will go the long way. And when he will come in here. Then you will open this door. Also you can unboard it through the other side and just completely speedrun it. But that would be boring. So we didn't do it. We never do it. Uh, I mean, never. Did I say never? I meant usually. Now, the absolutely hardest yet easiest part. Why hardest? Because it's not really due to auto, it's due to the puzzle. The puzzles in here are difficult, they take a long time to do. Usually, I mean, I'm mostly talking about the boar heads puzzles, you know. Otherwise, you can just take the shovel. Fill in the code that I remember better than any maths in school history or study histories. And yeah, 
And you finished it. Come on. Come on. Get him down here. Maybe. Nope. He will go to sleep. Uh, 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 yep. And same in here. Just put in this code 1135. 11, 1135. Which is the time you get on the grand clock. Downstairs. Speedrunning strat. At the start of the game, every single fire in the game starts lighting up when the level loads in, you know? So if you already have in your inventory the extinguisher from the bakery, then you can just immediately fly towards the grill, take out the fire, and yeah, you've done it in like less than a second. And usually it takes quite a long time, you know? And just like that. It's only three. To be honest, I don't know how these things are called in English. But he has only two of those. Yeah. Kinda sucks, huh? Why is he checking under the table constantly? Or I mean a piano. Fun fact, I also play on a piano. And for those who are curious, I do it seven years now. I could make something like a piano tutorial on those songs that the mayor is playing. That would be super cool, not gonna lie. I, may, I think uh, many people wouldn't really watch it, but I think it's really like for those, I don't know, who like Hello Neighbor songs and play the piano. I don't know. I think it would be cool, you know, to learn them. Even for my own entertainment, you know, it would be nice. After all, they sound good. I mean, basically every single... OST or every single music in this game just sounds great. By the way, you can jump this using the yeah, like that, using the extinguisher with only one try. One jump, one boost. Jump boost, I don't know. Eight six nine one. Wait. Why did I not take it? Thank you. And we are already mostly done. And we got the vinyl as well. Ah, shit. Angry dad. Not really a dad, but still. He's angry. Hello, neighbor chase teams on piano. Hello, neighbor two chase teams. Cool video idea, in my opinion. But because there are no tutorials, really, or any videos, then I think I would have to do it myself, you know, with my own memory, my own ears. I'm a pretty experienced piano player. Yeah, I mean, seven years of experience, which is, that's, I'd say, decent. I could do it one day. A live stream where we are playing only on the piano. Oh my god, that would be cool. But then maybe I... I could also, I could like play MIDI, you know, for those who know what that means. Can you jump it, thank you. Or even with webcam, you know, but yeah, that's the thing, webcam. Ah shit, I'm, I'm fucked. I, cr I thought I crawled away in time, but I think I didn't. Yeah, that's a lot of skill issue. I could make a tips and tricks video one day, but after all, it's just Hello Neighbor game, a single player, you know, so... Why would I do that? Story game, nothing like competitive BS stuff. He's coming downstairs. I mean, this would be faster, right? Yeah, let's go. And he's sleeping again. Poor guy, I don't care. Speedrunning stress do not work in here in this version, so yeah, the extinguisher is in there, but 
then it will be gone. Just like that, so yeah. Always crouch here, because usually when you like get in here too fast, then he's usually in here, you know, up, uh, upstairs in here. So he can see you, and that's sucky, you know, if you ask me. Also, I learned that the bug you do to get rid of Mr. Peterson. Ah, shit. You do to get rid of Mr. Peterson in the boss battle only works in multiplayer, you know? It happened in many of my multiplayer videos, or like three of those, with Zorgo, where he just slid in here and then got stuck, stuck forever. So yeah, you cannot do it in single player, because also the mechanics of the bots are a bit different in multiplayer than in single player. He will be coming in this room, so we can abuse that by... Yeah, by the way, he does not hear your footsteps or any other sound when he is following the footprints. That's a good thing to know. And just like that. Alright. Trusty Rusty Hammer. Use boards. It's good to always take all the boards you can. And immediately go to the church. So in here I will first go for the boards. Because we don't you don't need to uh, grind the locks in a grinder to make them into planks. It's really just a waste of time, you won't be getting back to the cart anyway, so yeah. Just fill your inventory with all the cards you can find. Uh, cards. Boards. Blanks. Boards. Blanks. Doesn't matter. And go immediately to the church. <coughs> and just like that. Also, you can crouch so the guest has harder time catching you while you are in the cart, but it it really doesn't change much, like only a little bit. The weather mod is so nice. I should have also kept the better clouds mod, then it would look, then it would have looked way better. Ah, I fucked it up. What you can do while you are in the cart is that you can jump on this barrier blocker get over to the lever and then back easily without staggering yourself or going inside the thing and here we are by the way you must get close to the church for getting caught otherwise it won't create the checkpoint so if i would get caught right now i will not get the checkpoint in the church just about right now yeah also, cool detail that I think I did not show to you. The gears will fall off from the bell. Ah, yes. And th those create the hole over here. And it's also a notification sound for the guest that he doesn't really follow. Guest is a bit differently programmed. He doesn't really follow the noise, uh, the attracting noises, you know. Alright, now this thing. I randomly realized how to place the boards. It's also the side buttons where you, you switch items. I accidentally realized it while I wanted to uh, choose a different item. In here you will need like, I think, four boards or three. I don't know. I don't play the forest that much. Yeah, you need four. I can tell. And if not, then I'm a liar. But I'm not. I am a liar. I'd say that this level is pretty straightforward. But the forest, the map, is like... It's really huge. It's way bigger than Ravenbrook's itself, you know. Maybe this forest 
was also part of Ravenbrook's, you know. It's Ravenbrook's residence, but, I mean, like, there were houses and such back then. I mean, no. Because Ravenbrook's is not an old town. I think it was uh, found, founded in... Uh, I don't remember now exactly, but I think like eight, uh, 20th century, like, or second, uh, middle of, second middle of 19th century, I'm not sure now, but it was founded by Tabishevs. So there's a speculation that the mayor is maybe a fuck my life. You can jump in, but I was just on a terrible angle. That the mayor is as uh, name is Tavishev and that he is from the Tavishev's family. But I mean we have no proofs really. Alright. I actually need only three planks or four, but I'm just too bad. I remember that back in the day you could Oh oh cool. You could just slide on this railing to get on the other side, but you can also jump on top of it. Terrible showcase. And to be honest, I pity those that have that played on controller. Ah, just like that. Playing on controller is quite bad experience, to be honest. You, I mean, you don't even have really many options. Uh, small tip, this jump is way trickier than it seems. It looks so simple, but it really isn't. You see? You need like four boards. This jump made me fall many, many times. And fucking again, you need a specific angle. But still, yeah. Man, that's such a terrible jump. Oh my god, I, I wanted to scream. I wanted to yell. Right. And it's a good thing that they put the elevators in here. Otherwise it would be something like only up, you know. I believe you need only one board in here, but still. Or actually maybe two. I couldn't tell now. In here don't even need a board, just jump it. Sometimes there are just those hidden boards. I mean... Why do we even need to create a new planks if they just put some random planks around the church and that's all you need, really? If you will take some from the start. You really don't need more. And here you can just place one board, like this. Jump back and vault. And in here you don't even need planks. Every single time you pull the wolf, just jump down for the best experience. What is the best experience? This is the best experience. Keep the shovel even though there is a second one. Just so you can do this with the barrel. But it also gets annoying. That's how we like it. I could not pick it up, thank you. By the way, for some reason, always when I get here, and I want to jump this part, you know, just to get into the crypt. I just never can do it. It's it's so hard. And I don't even have any tips for this. It's just random. Open it up. Greet the guest. There is no guest. Alright, and let's pray. And the sounds just cut out. It's a random bug that's really... You cannot predict it. And you cannot fix it. It will happen only right now when they will hug you then the sound will return but the music is gone
What are nice people?